the price of two photo frames is rupees 200 then what will be the price of five photo frames i am pranay sai and let us understand an interesting and a bit confusing topic that is chain rule let us know what is involved in this concept The questions in chain rule usually consists of two or more statements with some elements in it. So what can be the elements? It might be men or labor, the number of days, the time, the work, the price and so on. Out of these elements, we have to find out the missing element. And how to find the missing element? That is by comparing the given statements in the question. Here we can find two statements and there are certain elements like men, hours in this question. We have to find the missing element that is hours in this case. In order to get this value, we will have to compare the two statements given in the question. We will have a clear picture when we solve the problems. Now let's understand the concept of directly proportional and indirectly proportional which is significantly important in solving the problems in chain rule. What does directly proportional mean? If on increase or decrease of one quantity, the other also increases or decreases to the same extent. This is known as directly proportional. And indirectly proportional is opposite to directly proportional. That is, if on increase of one quantity, the other decreases and vice versa. An example of directly proportional is if the number of items to be purchased increases then cost also increases. On the other hand the example for indirectly proportional is if number of men increases then the work time decreases. Now let us understand the formulae. As I said earlier let us say there are two statements in the question. Let M be men or labor, D be days and T be time and W be work or wages and A be amount or price and S be some product, something like food or milk used or diesel or petrol which is used in the car etc. Having understood all these, the formula is as follows M1 D1 T1 is equal to M2 D2 T2. As there are two statements in the question, I have named it as M1 and here M2. Similarly, D1 T1 and D2 T2. Up to here, everything given in statement 1 is written below it and statement 2 is written below it. If there are any additional elements like work or wages or amount then these values are interchanged that is w2 or a2 here it will be w1 or a1 this is the standard formula to solve the problems in chain rule all the elements in statement 1 are written on one side and all the elements of statement 2 are written on other side except wages or work done or amount or prices or cost of items if given in the question they are only interchanged like what we have done here. You will be able to get a superior understanding when we use this formula in solving the problems. So let us try to do this. Now we shall be solving the questions on direct proportions. A man completes 5 by 8 of a work in 10 days. 
at this rate how many more days will it take him to finish the work in this question there are three elements in the given statements a man and a work and number of days so for the first statement let's name it as m1 d1 and w1 and for the second statement let's name it as m2 d2 and w2 but according to the formula the works need to be exchanged therefore the new formula will be m1 d1 w2 is equal to m2 d2 and w1 as number of men in both the cases are 1 and in the first statement the number of days is 10 and we have to find out let's name it as x and the amount of work done in the first statement is 5 by 8 and what will be w2 the whole minus 5 by 8 that is 3 by 8 therefore 1 into 10 into 3 by 8 is equal to 5x by 8 that is 30 by 8 into 8 by 5 is equal to x and you will be getting x is equal to 6. This is how we get the solution using this formula. Let us solve another question. Running at the same constant rate, 6 identical machines can produce a total of 270 bottles per minute. At this rate, how many bottles could 10 such machines produce in 4 minutes? Like previous question, let us derive the elements from both the statements. Let M be the machines and B be the bottles or work done in this case and time which is minutes. And in statement 2 as well, M2, B2 and T2. In the first statement, there are 6 machines and the number of bottles is 270 and the time taken is 1 minute. And in the second case, we are asked to find out how many bottles so we don't know this value this is x 10 such machines so there are 10 machines and the time given is 4 as we all know we need to interchange the works therefore 6 into x into 1 is equal to 10 into 270 into 4 therefore x is equal to 10 into 270 into 4 by 6 on simplification you will be getting 1800 so the value of x is 1800. We shall solve the category 2 questions in the next lecture. Thank you.